Ian, first of all, could you just give us a sense of how the week has been uh, in, in camp leading up to this game? Oh, a really good week, you know, it's a um, good trip up here, great weather conditions, great training conditions, um, you know, we, we dropped the first game in a championship and, and really determined to, to, to go into this one, what's going, always going to be a special occasion in Ellis Park, so plenty of motivation, and, but, you know, we're, we're a group that's taken the lessons and working hard on, on the growth part of our game, and, and again, it's been a solid week of prep so far. Been easy enough to put aside the the outside noise and, and I suppose the pressure that that's on this group at the moment. Yeah, well, at the end of the day, you just got to look at the facts. Is that we're we're going into a competition that we're, we've dropped the first game. Um, I think the last time that someone won it and won it six out of six was back in 2017. So it's not an unusual situation, and you know, dropping one against South Africa is not unusual. So. But so the challenge for us is pretty simple. We we just got to get, we just really want to get excited about our prep, making sure we play our game. And I said last week there was enough growth in our game last week to for us to to know we're in the right direction. But we just got to keep making those steps, and and the challenge doesn't get any easier. Ian, you made four four changes. Were you tempted to consider more, or were you determined to kind of give these guys another chance? Honestly? Well, as a group of selectors, you know, we was, you know, with Joe and I, and, and then the coaches, we went through the same process we'd normally do at selection time. What, what do we think where the group's at? Um, we we felt uh, both Tyrell and Ethan are in a really good position. I think, you know, particularly Ethan coming in, and you know, it's a great opportunity for him to switch from that that bench, a strong scrummager, and and so excited by that. Shannon, I thought. You know, having his experience, but also, you know, he looked he looked ready to go off the bench, and look, and Richie's trained really, really well, and contributed massively behind the scenes, and you know, particularly uh, just a chance to, to switch those two around. So, they were the uh, the ones that we went with. Um, did we consider others? Of course we did, um, but that's where we got to. Is, is Richie a, a move to um, move the kicking game somewhat? Well, not necessarily. It's um, like I said, he's prepared well, trained well. Him and Bodie have been massive behind the scenes anyway, in terms of really working hard on on the things that we want to achieve. And um, I'm sure he'll bring his own little flavour to it. But um, no, it's a, it's a matter of getting the balance between our kick, pass, run. We know that. And but you know, clearly last week we didn't get any field position early, and, and that really dampened us. So we've just got to make sure we. We try to get some of that early against a team that, that kicks out of that space very well. Ian, there were, you were looking at Scott Barrett at number six earlier in the year and talked about maybe giving a few more opportunities there. Is that still on the table? Yeah, definitely. It's um but you know, I think the we we've it's a bit of a cauldron over here, isn't it? You know, we've got two big tests and and you know, their driving play and, and their forward Forward pack's a big part of their game, and we just feel that that Scott is better suited for us right now in, in the engine room. You know, clearly Brody's not here, um, and so it certainly that that plan's on ice. Is, is it on ice until Brody comes back? Uh, potentially. Ian, there were sort of slight clouds over Jordy Bowden and, and uh, Will this week. Were there any late calls there, or are they all pretty all good to go? Do you think? Yep, all good to go. Um, you know, Will is uh, he, he's been you know whacked by a bit of a stomach bug for so he hasn't trained much, but he's done a lot of work behind the scenes. He'll he'll get through a significant part of training today, and um, we'll just keep uh, putting stuff in his mouth to get his energy right. But um, no, he's looking good. Joey's ankles all fine. Here, yep. Will he, will he do the goal kicking? Pardon? Will he do the goal kicking? Who's that? Jordan. Yeah, most likely. Ian, what's persuaded you to stick with the midfield that you know doesn't appear to have fired this year? What, what are you seeing that maybe gives you hope that they can find something? Um, look, I think sometimes you, you you weigh up selection. You got to look at what are we going to gain if we change. Um, you know, clearly we've got two midfielders at home and, and Anton and, and Jack, and so there's we, we, so we really believe that this is a um, a time for growing experience in this particular group, and it's. 
you, you, you tread that line, don't you, at selection time? Do you make wholesale changes and, and inject, or do you take the lessons from it? And, and I think, you know, I've said that this group is still evolving. These, these experiences are, are absolutely gold for us, you know. We, we don't like not winning, but the reality is we're getting some, some clear markers against a very good team, and I think, you know, I, I just trust the, the lessons that we take and, and put the, I guess, put the onus back on, on us as a group to make sure that we, we accept those lessons, learn them, and, and just keep growing our, our, our awareness of the game. So that's what we're banking on. Can you speak, I guess, to the size of the challenge this week? Lost five, they've lost six going to Alice Park. The Mecca of South African rugby, you intimidating atmosphere. What's that challenge like? Look, I think it's. Look, I, I know everyone keeps putting those stats up, but we, we're not in that space really. We, we're in a space that we've, we've, you know, and I think every sporting team's like that. When you, you look at the championship we're currently in, we, we've dropped the first one, and we've just got to make sure we grow and take our opportunities. And so, you know, there's no good us lingering on the past. We've. We, we know we've got some development as a team that we're currently going through. The, I guess the growth is always hurting, but at the same time, we we, we just got to make sure that our, our goal is to get improve, improve, improve. So um, doing it at Ellis Park is going to be cool. You know, it's um, it's a very clear opportunity. The the first test this year were always going to be massive for this group, and so you know we can't shirk away or, or worry about what's happened in the past. We've just got to go out there and. And respond the way that we we know we need to. Ian, you've got three props in 23. You've influenced the July series. Two of them starting. What have you seen from them over the last couple of months? Getting to that point where they can play the box out as well. Yeah, well, first of all, two of the July ones are injured, so that makes a, your arithmetic pretty simple. Um, so it's a great opportunity for some younger props to have a chance at this level. And you know, I'd put Ethan in there. I'd certainly put Fletcher Newell in that camp. He's um, come in, trained really, really well, impressed us, and so we really feel it's a great opportunity for him. And um, and and it's an area that, you know, we we, we want to grow in terms of our depth and options anyway, so um, what better place to do it? And again, um, there's been some fantastic games between these sides on the half belt over the last 10 years or so, and um, boss drive pitch. Is this part of ground you, you guys look forward to playing on? Yeah, yep, very much so. And I, and I think it's probably <clears throat> it's probably because South Africa look forward to playing on it too, you know. And so you you have to go in there with that sort of mindset. And you know, when you go to the high valve, there's you know generally there's a there's a lot of running involved early. You know, South Africa like to move you around and, and play that sort of game. We saw it saw it last week in that first half. They really like to play a lot of multi phases against you and put you under pressure. But the flip side of it is it's um, it challenges your fitness. But um, yeah, there have been some classic games, and, and he's hoping said there'll be another one. I mean, have you received any clarity on the high on, on the high ball? You know, the way the South African challenge expressed some concerns about that earlier in the week, and, and just you know, how much is on you to be better in that area as well? Well, we're always looking to own our area first, um, and so we've got to look at how we how we catch, and that's been a big focus. We got we got people who are good at that. And we've just got to keep backing that, that, that confidence and that skill set. We've, um, we've, we've gone back and forth a number of times about people running fast and jumping and hitting you before, they, before the ball's even coming down. And we've got some pretty good clarity on that, that there is a, there's at least one other situation in that game that, that perhaps we should have been rewarded. So, um, but, you know, we're pretty clear. Are you surprised that um, Malcolm Marks and moved to the bench for this game after last week? Well, not really. It's where he's always been played the last couple of years. So they promoted him for his 50th, so back to the normal formula. And how have you seen the team evolve over the last couple of years? Jeepers. <laughs> Do I have to go through that whole thing again? <laughs> <laughs> Having uh, so much fun, too. And how have you personally handled the, the pressure and the noise this week? Well, I think I've already answered that. You asked me about the team and I'm part of the team. We're just focused on this week. From a personal perspective? Well, I think I just answered that. I'm part of the team and that's how that's our team mindset. Was there any 
more motion and obviously from this team at the end of sort of a pretty difficult five, te- five game start to the season? You'd have to clarify that so I understand the question properly. So you've gone through a pretty pretty tough period, yep. three games against Ireland, two against Springboks, one of the toughest starts to all that tenure and um, start a year in a long time. I mean, knowing that you're sort of through probably the hardest part of it now, is there any sort of emotion or sort of anything special about this side? Not sure we're quite through the hardest part yet. You know, Ellis Park, um, pretty special. Um, no, I, d- I don't think there's any special emotion with the name of the team. It's, uh, you know, we've, um, you know, cl- look, clearly we're, we've, we've made some changes the last few weeks. We've, we've, I think, working really, really hard to bed those in. And, um, and so when we look at the squad, we've, we've we, you know, we haven't made wholesale changes, but we've certainly made some pretty critical ones, we think, to, to add energy. There's also, if you look at our, our bench, we're, we're pretty happy with what's coming off and what we think is going to be a bit of a game of endurance. And, and that's a bit of a similar strategy to what the South Africans use as well. So it's a matter of looking at the 23 a little bit more than, the, than just the 15. Um, so, no, no, it's, look, there's a lot of people who, who aren't playing that, you know, you could argue deserve a right to play because they've been training hard, preparing well, but uh, you know, like a, it's it hasn't been a start of a year that it's it's up to rotate a lot. It's about growing the experiences, and that's what we're doing. You said at the start of the week, you sense maybe something special could be brewing. Sam the other day said you felt you were you were really close, you know, to kind of cracking. <clears throat> Does the week, the position you're in now, do you feel equally as optimistic? Do you feel something change, change could change for you guys? Oh, look, I've certainly seen and felt the team. Grow, you know, we, you know, through through a bit of adversity, you you, you get your character tested, and uh, but you know the key is, is is when things don't go your own way, it's not to go and sit there and and sulk and go woe is me. You know, it's about to be really clear about the challenge in front of us because that's that's international sport, isn't it? And we've just got to we we we're, we're really clear about focusing. We're we're excited about the challenge. We've got that clear in our mind, but we also know that. You know that you've got to take small steps when you're when you're growing and making some changes, and uh, we've just got to keep keep those steps growing. Keep an environment for Fletcher Newell to potentially make his debut. How's he been this week and maybe the past couple of weeks since he his first came in, come into camp? But certainly since you, you told him he'd be on the bench, how, how's he been and how's he adjusted to the All Black environment? Yeah, well, I think the fact he's come in. Um, Jumped on a plane, come here, trained really well last week. He's impressed with his demeanour and how he's gone about his work, and that's earned him the right to, to be considered, I guess. And so the fact he's in there reflects what, what he's done the last two weeks. Um, how he's feeling, he's not the easiest guy to pick, really. Like he, um, in terms of pick his, his mood, he's very level. He's um, But underneath there, he, he's very excited and should be very proud of what he's done. And. Um, and I'm sure when he runs around that park, it'll, it'll, it'll be a few butterflies and, and stuff. But um, first scrum, he'll settle into it. And, but a great opportunity. I, you know, I think um, you can talk about an athlete and talk about their potential. But you know, right here and now, he's in a great spot to, to start with the All Blacks. Okay. Yeah, what do you make of the inclusion of uh, Glenn Smith in the top team after the last Bit like Malcolm Marks going to the bench, you know, it's it's back to their formula, isn't it? You know, he's a quality player, and I'm sure the intentions always were to, to get him back in there. Um, they got a great one-two punch with their number eight, so whichever way round, it was going to be a, a challenge. But um, look, he's, you know, we we've got great respect for Dwayne. He's a great great rugby player, and so it's um. So again, it just it just it, it uh, I just think it's a formula that they know and trust, and. It's up to us to deal with it.